Alright, Shadow One, Shadow One. Book of Ephesians, chapter 4, and verse 1. This is according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew, in the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shah. Those are the only names in which salvation may be obtained, rather even given the Spirit to receive that knowledge or not. I'd like to give double honors to the Elders and the Apostles at GMS Brent Milstone, who have taught me this truth, this great empire of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, and who do rule of the day. Once again, we're even given the spirit to receive that knowledge or not, and teach my blessing salutations be into the elect nation of Israel, beginning of the hundred, forty, and four thousand prophets, all the way down to the remaining elect of our nation prophesy to come out of the lies and the deceits of this world and return unto your true identity and nationality, according to history, both biblical and secular methods. All right, repenting and coming back to the Heavenly Father in all sincerity, doing the best to make the calling to your election short. All right. This makes up a fraction of those prophesied, as we just read here, you see, before the foundation of the world, to return to the Heavenly Father message, to be without blame for the Heavenly Father through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. That's why I tell you here, being adopted, being brought back into this covenant, man. Here it is, our forefathers broke this covenant and it was prophesied that we would be bled into these heathen nations, man. All right, and through slavery, this would be done. You see, we would lose our heritage, we would lose our holy name, and we'd be scattered throughout this earth, man. Many of us winding up in the Western Hemisphere, all right, being put under the identity of being so-called Black, Hispanic, or Native American, which none of those are a true identity, man. Those are names that were given to us by the conqueror of this earth, man. The, the wicked of this earth was prophesied to take control of it, upon our downfall, man. But according to the, to the good news, the gospel, the Heavenly Father has another plan put in place, man. And a fraction of us will return and come back to true power, man. Come back to a state which will lead to immortality, man. And this shows you that what if not of us, if this is all of the will of the Most High, which is why I said, well, we were predestinated to be brought back into this thing, man. You see? Let's go ahead and grab a, another precept here. I just wanted to make a quick hit of this spirit, man. Um, just to prove this point, this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 13, and it reads, But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. So the only reason why these uh, uh, this church here in Thessalonica was able to receive the knowledge of who they were, was able to come out of the world, you see, and, and, and believe to the point of Lord willing salvation is because the Heavenly Father chose them, man. He chose all the members of that church, just like all the members in whatever state it is you are in, man. If you're if you're among the brothers in, in uh, uh, you know, in Arizona, Colorado, New York, you see, wherever the case may be, man, L.A., you see the Heavenly Father chose you to, to be quickened and believe and be among those brothers, man. You see, this thing, this thing ain't, is, is beyond us, man. All right, verse 14, and this is contrary to what we've been taught by what? The, the indoctrinations of this world, man. Oh, I found Jesus. I found the Lord. Well, according to the Bible, man, you the one. The, the Heavenly Father is the one that quickened you. Verse uh, 14, it says, Whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory. You see, he called you, man. He called you by what? What, what was the way he called you? He just appeared to you in a dream? Like you hear these Christians say, oh, God, I saw God. I saw him in a dream. He appeared to me, and he told me, no, man. Heavenly Father don't be dealing with you like that. He does what? He, he stirs up his prophets to prophesy this word, 
and the elect will take heed of it, which is why what? First Corinthians tells us what, man? That he chose us to be saved by the foolishness of preaching. It's foolishness to this world that this is the way the creator of all energy chose this great and miraculous delivery, man. But to us, it's not foolishness, because why? This is of the Most High. This proves it's of the Most High. We don't need to come up with no fancy gimmicks, man. All we need to do is push his word and the elect are going to be sealed. You see? Now, if it wasn't of the Most High, you'd need to come forth with all these different, you know, rap music videos and all these different ways that, oh, I'm going to try to wake up these guys this way because, you know, no, man, all you got to do is push the word. You see, this is of the Most High. Now, going on, it says, to the obtaining, so we've been called by this gospel, by this good news, to the obtaining of the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, to the point of what? Obtaining glory, man. Going back to what? That state that's going to lead us to immortality, man. The gods of this earth. This is how we will return to that state. Not by starting no schools and no, you know, no, no, uh, you know, no supermarkets and doing something with the world trying to make it happen, man. This is uh, John. I'm going to come back to repentance, man. By hearing this uh, uh, gospel, this good news, John 15 and 16, we'll end it here. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. You see that, man? Really, we could have just started the lesson here and, and just stopped. Point is proven. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, man. The Heavenly Father is the one that have chose the elect. You see? It says, I mean, even, even Yahweh Shai said it, man. Uh, uh, uh. His disciples were given to him. They were chosen by the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father chose his disciples and ordained you that ye should go to bring forth fruit. What's that mean? You've been ordained to what? Feed the sheep. This is the duty of a man. You see? The duty of you men out there is to be pushing this truth to cause the elect to be sealed. This is our job. This is the only thing that matters here, man. Because everything else that you see around you is going to be destroyed, man. The fancy cars, the, the all the women. I mean, not all the women, but most of these women out here. You see, everything that you see around you is going to be put out, man. The houses, everything. So the thing that you could invest in that you're going to reap spiritually until life everlasting is what? Feeding the sheep, man. Bringing forth fruit. Going on, it says, and that your fruit should remain. So those that, that receive this will remain because what? You 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 stirred them up through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. By what this gospel, as we just read in uh, St. Thessalonians, it says that whatsoever ye shall ask of me, see, whatever ye shall ask, what, going on, of the Father, in my name, he may give it to you. And this is what's going to deliver us through Jacob's trouble, man. This is what's going to get us through Jacob's trouble from everything from now and in between, man. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. We give all praises once more to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem Rakaku Adash. Double honors unto the others and the apostles at GMS Great Milk, Son of Peace, Love, Blessing, Salutations unto the elect.